Girls, a little bit more advice for y'all. My granny, she had a motto. She said, you know, instead of getting the big breast augmentation because that's expensive and it hurts too, she said, what God has forgotten, we girls can stuff with cotton. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't really think I did that to myself, now did you? <laughs> girls, for $3.99, we can get a whole bag of these socks from the Walmart. <laughs> Buys us a whole lot of cleavage and a lot of attention. <laughs> and they're padded, but I'm still gelling. <laughs> Some of you boys are looking at me like you just found out there ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> Sorry, there ain't all stuffing, no presents. <laughs> I did have a guy in Vegas yelling, put it back, put it back in. <laughs> like, dude, if you have to say that to all the girls, put it back, put it back in. Maybe you needed this right here more than I did up here. Just saying, <laughs> keep it to yourself. <laughs> Speaking of presents, I get the same presents every single year from my granny. Now, my, mind you, my granny, she drank a lot. She was kind of a drunk. She used to put me in a taxi cab when I was a little girl, take me down to the liquor store, and then she'd buy me penny candy. That was my hush money. <laughs> so, but she'd always give me the same presents every year for Christmas. What do we get? We get the same things every year. The bag of socks. Now y'all know what to do with them. <laughs> she gave me these. <laughs> Secret was a secret. <laughs> I get some of granny. I know she bought these at the Walmart. I think she's just trying to bring sexy back. <laughs> I got off the plane in Afghanistan, and, and my mom was like, "Oh, maybe you'll meet a guy over there. Maybe you'll meet a guy." And I pulled out these undies and put them on. I was like, "I'm so not getting laid." <laughs> Terrible. Oh, uh, I was married for a little bit. My husband, six months into my marriage. Well, first off, he was on the show, The Gilmore Girls. Anybody watch that show? He played the estranged dad on The Gilmore Girl Chris. That was, that was his character. But six months into our marriage, he said he just forgot he was married while he was having that affair. He actually said that to me. He liked to play hockey. So I just forgot that I put Ben Gay in his jock strap. <laughs> And I just forgot that I took itching powder and I poured it all over his underwear and his drawer. Then I just forgot when I called the chickie he was cheating on me with and I said, Honey, you might want to get yourself checked. He's had a whole lot of itching and burning going on down there. <laughs> oh, I know. Some of y'all think, Oh, no, she did not. Oh, yes, I did. Hell hath no fury like a wife scorn. Right, girls? Right? <laughs> Terrible. And then uh, we went to couples therapy. Anybody try that? If you ain't tried it, this is how it goes. You get yelled at for about an hour at your expense, and then you break up. <laughs> I, I have to say, you guys, if we're women, when we're over, you know, 30 years old, you're calling us cougars now. Cougars. That ain't right, is it? They got all kinds of pet names for us with the cat, you know? They got the pumas, they got the cougars, they got the mountain lions. Well, I think all you guys are animals, okay? Some of y'all just make better pets than others. You guys got kitty cats? We girls, we got dogs, we got the snakes, we got the rats, we got the weasels, we got the pigs. If you boys are sitting there wondering which animal you are, then you'd be the jackass. <laughs> y'all got cats? We got a whole farm with y'all, okay? 